What is up, everybody? Sir Swifty, the Crypto Gaming Ninja here. Uh, here for your weekly wrap-up video. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about some awesome updates in the uh, AMA, the Bazoge AMA, and uh, talk about why I am not selling a single Bazoge coin. Uh, and I don't think you should either. Again, not financial advice. You make your own decisions. But I personally am not selling. I'm going to tell you why. Lots of awesome things in the pipeline. First thing, we're going to start by looking at the overall market. As we can see here, um, you know, we're down. We were getting closer to, you know, two and a half trillion, and now we're closer to two. Bitcoin's dumping down, to, you know, 46. Ethereum's below 4K. Lots of blood in the market. Um, you know, Shiba, uh, the only thing that's up right now is kind of like Doge because of an Elon tweet. And Hex, because for some reason, Hex always goes up when the rest of the market goes down. I don't know why or how that works, um, but, you know, things are looking gloomy and doomy in the market. And, you know, Warren Buffett uh, says this, you know, buy when others are fearful and sell when others are greedy. So to me, great buying opportunity if you were looking for one, if you were looking to enter the market. I don't think we're done for the year. You know, I know a lot of people are talking about extended cycles or, you know, are we in a bear market? I don't, I don't think we're there yet based on what I see. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, you know, extremely versed in technical analysis, but I do follow people that are. Um, and, you know, I do look at the fundamentals of the project, what's going on uh, to kind of see what I think things are doing. And, you know, for Bazoj, I think there's too many good things in the work works for, you know, people to give up now. I saw a lot of whales panic selling, paper handing, as my boy Brad says, Edward paper hands. Uh, Edward paper handing out of their positions. Uh, I don't think it's the time. I think you guys, you know, are missing out. I remember, uh, what was it, March, uh, when it kind of did this, everything went super low, 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 and then we got this big pop. And I think we still got one more in us, and I'm not the only one. Uh, if you look at the fear and greed index, you know, this is a great indicator of what's going on in the market. You can see this is from today. We're now in extreme fear. fear. A lot of people are fearful, selling out of their positions, you know, buying high and selling low for the noobs. Um, you know, I've done it too. So, you know, it's kind of like, I think paying your dues or, you know, and just learning how crypto works. Um, but try not to let this get to you. You know, again, you know, with the mass adoption, the talks and the position of Congress uh, and the Senate kind of being more open to cryptocurrency. And those are a couple of people that were kind of bashing it. You know, a lot of people seem to be more open to the fact that it's more secure, fast, um, and more transparent. So, um, you know, again, you know, I'm personally holding my positions because I, I, you know, I think that, you know, uh, you know, we're not in a run, especially for Bazoge. So, um, you know, this is kind of what one of the things I was basing this off. This is from a BitBoy uh, uh, video the other day on YouTube yesterday. You know, they talk about the the bull trap. Uh, and the kind of setup for that. And he's kind of seeing this, you know, Carl from the moon, I think is another one, but he sees the basement. Uh, we're kind of still in that basement section right now. Got to get up to the, to the roof. So I'm still looking for that. You know, I'm looking for a better position. Um, they're saying up here somewhere around 200 K. Uh, is it going to go that high? Uh, I think I'm personally going to sit out and opt out between 80 and hundred um, you know, for Bitcoin, uh, Bazoge, I am not touching, I'm not selling a single coin and I'm not selling for a while because we are only in the alpha stages. This is a infant and it's an amazing project. You know, in my YouTube videos, you know, I do a review of some other gaming projects. It's one of the few that has an actual alpha. Everybody I know that plays it, that's, you know, uh, you know, born in the eighties, nineties, they all love the game. The graphics are crazy. It, it's got that, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, Banjo-Kazooie, Zelda, Mario 64 feel, and everything else on the market is more like Game Boy Color Pokemon, right? So, um, you know, a lot, if you look, follow a lot of the crypto influencers, um, you know, they're all saying, you know, the next big wave is crypto gaming. And, you know, from what I'm seeing, you know, Bazoj has a amazing product that's actually close to being out. Um, and these are some of the things they talked about in the AMA. Um, so a couple of things they talked about in the AMA, uh, scaling with Phantom. I'm not sure if Phantom is actually spelled correctly, but uh, as we move from alpha to beta, we're going to be integrating the blockchain, adding a couple hundred thousand more users. 
Um, and you know the servers need to be able to handle that. So uh, the dev team is focusing a lot on integrating um, so that they can scale uh, and have that awesome product and have it um, not just um, be awesome you know, on a small scale, but on a, an actual large scale, scalability is key. Uh, so we're looking at the beta launching towards the end of Q1 and, you know, towards the, you know, the actual game launch towards the end of Q2, they had mentioned, uh, obviously, if this things come up, this, this, this can be delayed, but this is the goal. Um, Speed Zoja World talked a lot about that. I am super stoked. Uh, I personally love racing games, love racing. I race go-karts for a hobby. Uh, I've always been into cars and, you know, Speed Zoja promises to deliver uh, all the nostalgic uh, kind of racing feel. So 8-bit music do, 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 type stuff. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Super stoked for that. Uh, they're going to be runways with speed boost pass and racing and no, you're probably going to find me there, honestly, once this opens up all the time. That's going to be my home world. Uh, Petzogis are live. You can see we got bears, bulls, dogs, and apes. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. If you bought pets, um, how you can find out what you got. And uh, if you didn't get pets, how you can get one. Right? So you can see these are updated. It's as simple as going on OpenSea and updating. Um your metadata. Why are Petzoji so awesome? Well, they talked about this a little bit in the AMA, but they do have plans to give your main character a stat boost. Uh, so let's say you're a speed Zoji and a Zerk Zoji uh, for speed and power. You can pair that with the uh, the Mint Zoji or the Fud Zoji to get extra abilities. Uh, sorry, yeah, the pets that have those at attributes. Um, in the future, you know, maybe not in the beta, uh, but they might have a uh, a special attack where they can attack for you or they just attack randomly in battle um, with a longer recharge timer, which makes these things, you know, valuable in the game. And what makes them uh, even more valuable is there's only 4,096. So while, you know, uh, the Bizogis uh, can be uh, minted or summoned using other Bizogis, even though that weakens the original, uh, originals, um, you know, these, there's only going to be a certain amount and that's all you can get. So, you know, once these, you know, 4,000 of them are out, they're gone. You can get them right on the, uh, bizoja.com under the minting section. There's like a little thing where it'll tell you how many are left. I think there's less than a hundred even, um, left, but, uh, if you want to see what you got, let's say you got one. I'm not sure this is the official, uh, collection, uh, but this is just to show you for an example um, of, of how to find it. You can go on OpenSea and update your metadata. There's this uh, circle right here. This will update your Bazoji from the original to the Bazoji pet, so you can see what you got, or you can go to your inventory on bazoji.com and it'll pull it up. I don't have my wallet connected on this computer, so it's not pulling up my pets, but you'll see them right there under Pets. So that's a simple way you can view them. If you want to update your metadata on OpenSea, let's say you're trying to sell them, you want people to see that, you could update it that way. Right? So why am I not selling any Bazojis uh, or Bazoja? Um, because Bazoja fits all the checkboxes of a strong long-term project for me. Um, so, you know, BitBoy even says it here. We'll listen to him, hear what he has to say. So there you heard it, tech and community, uh, especially if gaming is the next big thing, Legends of Bazoja fits all those boxes. It's got the play to earn technology where you can not only play to earn while learning uh, uh, metaverse uh, game, uh, so you can learn about crypto. Um, you don't need to be a crypto person to play the game. Um, you know, they have, they're working on the gamification and the storylines. Um, it's got great graphics, and the goal of the game is totally doable. It's not extravagant or something that would take, you know, a, a long time. It's got that nostalgic feel, so it's going to be easy to onboard people, and the community is amazing. All you guys showing love on all my videos 
and talking with all you guys on Twitter and in the um, Telegram and in discords and, you know, just going into the alpha and actually chatting with people in the game. It's really fun. It's an awesome community. It reminds me of, you know, I came from SHIB as one of the Facebook admins on the official SHIB Facebook group. And, you know, it's got that, it got, it's got those SHIB vibes as far as community. And we've seen how far SHIB's gone. Um, so uh, community and tech, you know, Bazoge locks that all in and I am not selling a single thing. Guys, if you're interested, um, you know, we are doing a giveaway for a pet and for an origin block for an actual Bazoge. Um, you can go subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, where I post these awesome videos where I actually have a video showing you how you can get a Bazoji pet or a Bazoji, um, or you can go ahead and just enter and try to win one. We're about 480, let's see. Yeah, 480 subscribers. So we're about halfway to 1,000 where we're going to give that thing away. I don't know. I might give this thing away a little early, but uh, tag all, you know, tag your friends. Uh, we need to get some more people, get the word about out about this awesome project. And guys, uh, stay tuned for the next video, all right? So hang tight, take a breath. When in doubt, zoom out, you know, look at the, the bigger picture. Uh, think about why you got into the project to begin with. You know, were you in this for a quick flip, quick flip or were you in this because you love the game and you love the project, right? Check out my other videos, um, other awesome reasons of why this project is so awesome. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the game. Go become an alpha tester. They're approving everybody. You know, you can check it out and start playing for yourself. Um, so go ahead and do that. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel to, to see more awesome videos. Get alerts when new uh, Bazoji content goes live. Uh, AMA recaps. If you can't make that meeting, I always try to get cliff notes um, and get them to you guys so that you have an awesome summary and, and, and kind of see what's going on uh, with the markets as well. So uh, thanks again, guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.